of the National League Championship Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak. And Dan, obviously, a lot of things still up in the air as we get ready for Game 6. It's been a tight series so far, which we kind of expected when we started. But now it's backs up against the wall time. The series has shifted locations, and now these guys need to win the final two games at home to win it. This crowd should certainly help, but they've still got a tough task at hand. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups in first pitch are next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. Time now to check out the lineup for the visiting Dodgers. What's your take as they try to win an NL championship here on the road Mark. Yeah you take a look at this lineup they're running out today. And they got their work cut out for them with the sinker baller on the mound on the opposition side. They're going to have to see the ball up. They're going to have to work the home plate umpire. Can't be given four to six inches off the inside half, or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see right out of the chute if he's got the good one or not. And he got him. In the second spot tonight, center fielder number So three. striding forward now, Chris Taylor. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And he lays off for ball one. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D Road. Not a very big zone, but. He will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Hernandez scoops it up, and there are two away now. Here's Corey Seager. First offering on its way. And that one right down Main Street. Bases are empty here with two men out. A curveball that catches the inside corner. When you're facing a guy with this many pitches in his repertoire, I say throw everything. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will. Leading off for the Philly. He's ready. Center Here's the first ball. offering. Oh, down the first baseline. So this is foul for the first strike. He pulls this one into right. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first down. Right fielder. So digging in now, Nick Williams. Here comes the first pitch. A less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Hey, from a hitter's perspective, I don't mind that take right there. I know it's in the zone, but this is a hitter's yard. You want something bell high that you can get loose on. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. And with two away, look at our playoff tree here. And the winner of this series, of course, will have their hands full with the Boston Red Sox as they've already claimed the American League pennant. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Dribbled up the line. Foul ball, however, strike one.
Oh and one count and the pitch. Check swing but he held up in time ball one. Well you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy. Oh and two. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Check swing grounder to the right side. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. You know what we call that? We call that clean living. To get a knock on a check swing does not happen often. This guy obviously had some good karma coming his way. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Philly strand one. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. He'll lead it off against Jake Arrieta. Owen won the count. One and one to the Dodgers first baseman. And it's one and two. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now and that can obviously be dangerous a cold strike there but he might need to lower his sights a little bit and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business ah, no doubt Matty he's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff you know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Justin Turner started to go around but it's a called strike 0 and 1. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there fouling it away. Do not expect a third hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready with another 0 2. And now a slider in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now. Well his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one guys. That's five batters faced four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. High in the air out to center field. Pereira is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Leading off for the Philly. Third baseman, Arlo Santana. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. Forsyth has it. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Batting fifth. Third baseman. Mike Into the box. Michael Franco. Previous head to head matchups with Kenta Maeda. He's gone three for 11. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside, but went around for strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. This is hit softly to third. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here, having a huge series. Any big leaguer can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. First offering on its way. I uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Yeah. 
slow curveball like a balloon and he couldn't hold back at strike two. Franco leads off first with one away. And the slider gets him swinging two gone. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best Happy ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Taylor will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Two complete scoreless here on MLB Network. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading he off the third down. after the first six but guys Grandal. in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Aye. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Aye. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat, but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Hoskins is right there as he puts it away, no problem for the first down. Second baseman, Logan Forsyth. At the plate, Logan Forsyth, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch coming, here it is. Sliders in for a strike. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the Got second out. out. The pitcher, number 18, Maeda. So here now is the pitcher, Kenta Maeda. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning form. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Here's the first pitch to him. Yeah. Just caught the inside corner with a sinker. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Curveball hey. locks him up strike three and that's the third out. Dodgers down in order home half of the third coming up no score. Digging in now for Philadelphia Jake Arietta as we move on to the Edson. bottom of inning number three. Arietta. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. Popped him up. Bellinger moving to his left. He's got it one away. Now back. Digging in to try it again. Odubel Herrera hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Hard hit ball to second. Forsyth is there. And there's out number two. The right fielder, number five, Kirk Williams. 
Into the box now. Nick Williams. He got called out on strikes his last time through. First pitch coming. Here it is. Liner toward right center. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there. And that'll bring in the speedy left-handed hitter Andrew Toll back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike called. Now the throw down. He said he's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. No runs, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. Towards second. The underhanded flip. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Here's Corey Seager comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the stretch. Hit out towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run will score as the Dodgers grab the early 1-0 lead. Hey, Dero, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing him softly, station to station with those knocks. Chasing after it is Herrera. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and head for third. And he'll move up to third now. Runners at the corners here with one away. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. High in the air down the right field line. Williams is under it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 2-0 ball game. And now is Yasiel Puig. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0 and 1. A 1 and 1 count to Puig. That's a tough pitch to throw right there. That front door curveball just missed hitting that inside corner. That's a very difficult pitch. I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Dodgers lead this one two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Cesar Hernandez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hit down the line at first. Bellinger's got it, and he'll step on first himself to the out. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Now the pitch. Line drive to left. Coles is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Here's Carlos Santana now. As he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field. That's a base hit. The relay. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love. And as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring a ball up. Into the box, Michael Franco. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Now the 0-1. Very weakly on the ground. A 
That goes foul. Two strikes on him now. From the belt, the pitch. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Next for the Dodgers, Yasmani Grandal. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's lifted the other way out to left. Hoskins is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Now batting, second baseman, Logan Forsythe. Standing in, Logan Forsythe hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Sliders in for a strike. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Here's another 0 2. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bouncing. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's sixth at this point, so he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Stepping in now, Kenta Maeda. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Now the 1 0. Misses for the second ball. Can't allow yourself to lose focus right here with the pitcher up. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize pitches against these guys and put them away early. Two and one. This is line to left, and that'll get down for a two out single. So with that, the top of the fifth is still alive. Hey, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well, but now he's mixing in a base hit late in the game, giving his manager options. Whether or not he wants to pinch run, keep him in there, go to the relief. I mean, he's opened up a whole weaponry box for the manager. He's one for two in this one. One and one to the Dodgers leadoff man. Well, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. If he's going to have the ability to flip that in there whenever he wants, this is going to be a tough test. 1-1. One, one. Down the third baseline. Backhanded. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and both runners are going to be safe. Up next for the boundary, center fielder, Chris Taylor. Ready now, Chris Taylor. Looking to make it three straight two out hits here. He's got a runner in scoring position at second. The 0 1 pitch. There's a strike. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. He struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Dodgers strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Leading off for the Phillies, Patrick Jorge Alfaro.
First pitch coming. Here it is. A swinging bunt to the mound. And that's the first out. Now batting, Georgia, J.P. Rockford. Now at the plate, J.P. Crawford. He flew out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Holes. He's there now, and it's two pitches, two out. Up next for Philadelphia, Edgar Jake Arietta. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Jake Arietta. He popped out in his first trip. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it here, two to nothing. Now to the plate, Corey Seager. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. And well towards the hole. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. So that'll bring in the National League rookie home run record holder Cody Bellinger. Strike one to start the at bat. Two runs, six hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Just an absolute laser that time. Screaming off the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Justin Turner stands in as he looks at a called strike. Couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Inside as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. Brings home the run with a ground ball, but also moves the other guy over to third base. Good job of keeping it simple there. Yasiel Puig is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here 1-2. and two. A man at third with one away. This is popped up. Alfaro is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandon. First pitch coming. Here it is. And that one just missed outside. Men on third with two down. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. Now 2 0 with a great hitter up, a runner on third and two outs. This is not the spot where you want to be challenging a hitter like this. This is where you have to pitch very careful. Two balls and two strikes now. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. It's a run on two hits here for L.A. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. L.A.'s on top, three to nothing. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. And then he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line toward right center. Puig moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. A 
up next will be Nick Williams. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball one and one interesting sequence of pitches right there a real ugly swing on a ball away and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch from the windup the one one pitch hit on the ground down the first baseline but a foul ball one and two now the one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now batting. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Standing in now, Cesar Hernandez. Swing and a liner, but foul. He's working on a one for two game so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Boy, a check swing on a pitch way out of the zone. Just held up, but boy, as a pitcher, you're hoping that he swings at that one. That's out to left. Does he have another 1 2 3 inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Phillies down in order. Still down 3 nothing. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Game six moves on to the seventh inning now, but before we start, let's call on our game summary to show you how we got here. In there for strike one. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. The bottom third of the lineup hasn't put up a lot of resistance in this one. Pretty much has been sure outs other than that one hit. That really puts a lot of pressure on other guys to make stuff happen. These aren't the guys you usually count on, but it certainly helps if they can do something productive. Kenta Maeda is in for a third plate appearance as he watches one miss inside. It's 1-0. and A ball and a strike. Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seven. And that'll bring in the speedy left-handed hitter Andrew Toll. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0 home. High in the air out to center field. Pereira is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Leading off the inning, Reese Hoskins. And they'll need him to get something going here. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The wind up and the 0 1. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Back goes Taylor. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The first baseman, number 41, Carlos Santana. In now, Carlos Santana. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Oh, and he leaves that one right over the plate as this is sent high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. Boy, 
Yadier Como by. It's a solo home run for Carlos Santana. His first homer so far in the series. And the Phillies strike for a run. It's now a three to one ball game. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Into the box now, Michael Franco. As he'll swing and miss it, a first pitch slider at strike one. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Fouled away. A hit. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Sometimes you just got to thank your lucky stars right there. Definite missed execution pitch right there. Eyes lit up on that pitch right down the middle. Another example of how difficult it is to throw three quality pitches in a row. The first two pitches right on the corner. That one a little bit too much of the plate. Now here's a drive out to right center field. He arrives at second without a play, but they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Now here's the Dodgers skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So as he departs, he can't lose this ball game, but he is responsible for the runner at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run comes across to score. Ross Stripling takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. That'll bring in J.P. Crawford as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Forsythe. And that's the second out. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Wilson Ramos will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 44, Wilson Ramos. Line toward right center, and that is through for a base hit. And the move to the bench will pay off handsomely. And that'll plate the tying run from third as we've got ourselves a brand new ball game now. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. On the first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Eighth inning coming up. And we are all tied at three apiece. Aaron Nola has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Coming to the plate now, Chris Taylor. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good seventh, eighth, and ninth inning guys. It all boils down to. Whose bullpen is better? And a whiff at a good slider that time. He 
and he ball. takes one off the inside corner for ball two. The 2 1 home. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. Hernandez is there for it. One away. A very tightly contested ball game here in Philly, as you can see by the line score. All even as we play the eighth. Here's Corey Seager. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. In there, no balls and a strike. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you got a star hitter at the plate. He's not afraid to go to two strikes or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him at a disadvantage with the count. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. And as Dodger fans have heard for years, she is out of here. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center, as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Yeah, first a home run and then a triple. And if the pattern holds, the next hitter will rope a double to bring another run home here. We shall see. Justin Turner is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. One and one the count now. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. And now is Yasiel Puig. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, he, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. A ball and two strikes. Two outs here with a runner at third. Nope, and that's, that's going to be high two and two now. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the play to keep it at arm's length. Now a line drive to left center field, and it's going to get down for a base hit. In to score the runner from third, and that moves the lead to two here in the eighth. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a 1-1 game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. Popped him up, and Franco will make the catch to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Dodgers five and the Phillies three. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Adam Liberator is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Jock Peterson will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. That's lifted the other way out to left. Holes in pursuit, but he won't get there. It falls in. It's a nice job by the batter right there. Able to fight off a high fastball and slap it the other way for a single. At the plate, Cesar Hernandez. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take you deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. First pitch on its way. Sinking line drive out to right center. In there, a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. 
It's so important, Mark, to start to make quality pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster inning. Do your job. No balls in one strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Popped high in the air. Forsyth has a play. Makes the play one away. Stepping into the box, Carlos Santana. So far, two for three in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Runners are at the corners with one man out. This pitch is popped up. Forsyth is calling for it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Stepping in, Mike Del Franco. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. So it's no runs on. So coming to the plate, Logan Forsythe, and he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. The windup and the 0-1. Hit hard down the left field line, but this is going to get foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. Hit in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Andrew Coles. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. That pitch was right down the heart of the plate, but obviously this guy had made up his mind on the on deck circle. He was taken all away, and he was going to zone him up. Missed with a slider. Two out, nobody on. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Herrera's there. And the inning is over. One, two, three go the Dodgers as they hang on to their 5 3 lead. Kenley Jansen takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 74, Kenley Jansen. Here's the first pitch. And he couldn't hold back that time. They say he went around at strike one. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. After that swing, you just got to reset yourself. You still have a strike to work with, and you, you can't be thinking about how silly you just looked on that last pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Peterson has a read on it. He's got it one away. The batter, the shortstop, So next to the plate for the Phils, J.P. Crawford. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the first pitch. This is on the ground over to first. 
Bellinger fields cleanly. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting the pitcher, Aaron Nola. As Rubel Cabrera will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Cabrera! Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. Well, the pitcher gives up the double. He can't do anything about that now. He just needs to put it behind him and focus on the man at the plate. If he takes care of him, the game is over. On the other hand, if he gives up a bomb, this thing is tied. It's getting a little dicey. Here's the first pitch. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. After taking such an ugly swing, if I'm the batter right now, it has to be in the back of my mind that he might repeat that exact same pitch. The 0-1. Swing, and he pops him up. This should do it. And Tinseltown will be a glow tonight. The Dodgers are National League champions. Well, they've taken care of business all season long, and tonight was no exception. They've proven to be the best team in the National League. Now it's time to see if they can become the best in the entire game. Celebrate tonight, and the World Series is next. Congrats to the NL champs. Well, the man you see right there had a game to be proud of. He really came through when it mattered, and he's our top player of the game. Yeah, no question. He was a tough out up there. Ended up collecting three knocks, including a home run. So without him on the lineup, I think this might have been a different story. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our excellent crew, this is Matt Vaskersian saying so long. You've been watching the National League Championship Series. Our final life.